Oh fuck. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is the middle of winter in Pretoria, South Africa, and it is about 2.5 degrees out, so excuse me if I'm all uh, wrapped up. Today we're going to be doing something slightly different. I need a spring compressor uh, to remove valve springs and cotters from cylinder heads. Um, I do have one, but it doesn't work so well for some of the cylinder heads that I work on. So uh, I'm going to be making my own out of what I have around around here. So let's get to it. This is more or less the design I'm after. It's not to scale, but it kind of gives you an idea. So let's see what we got to work with. All right, so I have used this before in combination with this little tool that I modified. But the challenge with that is it doesn't really work so well on these kinds of cylinder heads because the spring is lower than the top of the top of the cylinder head so it it makes it challenging it's also not a very quick process with this tool or you do really battle um, and it's really fiddly so what i want to do is i want to create something that's quick easy um, and effective obviously it's about efficiency i want to be able to get through um, a lot of these valves quite quickly and also safely um, when you when you're returning the or you you placing the cotters inside the retainer and you allow the spring to seat you don't want the cotters to be sitting slightly outside of the the notch on the valve um, you might not pick it up or whatever but it could it could cause valve failure so uh, you want it to be really accurate quick and efficient so Let's see what we can come up with. Again, like I say, I'm gonna use a bunch of uh, stuff that I have lying around. I'm probably gonna use this old uh, spark plug tool that I have. I've got a couple of um, bushes. I have this old piston that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the gudgeon pit. As you can see, it's really worn out. So, and then I have literally a bucket of bolts. So between all of that, I also have quite a bit of this this rectangle tube um, lying around so I'm going to use that and obviously some wood to mount the head on so I've got a design in my head let's just go with it So that's the wood done pretty much so the idea with this is is to be able to give the space underneath so i can get something in there to stop the valve pushing down when i actually press the uh, spring down so and then it also protects the, the face of the cylinder head so that's step one complete now we're going to start on the fabrication of the lever lever system which is going to Basically fix somewhere here and then come up and then we are going to have this thing. It's going to pick up on this and then this will be our press. We will have to modify this. Um, so we can get to the cotters.
So the idea is that it fixes to the back of this table. I'm probably going to weld it on um, so that it is fixed there and then I will just loosen, I'll just take the bolt out every time I want to use the table for anything else. So um, we're getting very close. It's going to pivot effectively like that. So unfortunately uh, time has caught me. Um, I just didn't realize uh, what time it was so we're gonna have to care I'm gonna have to carry on tomorrow um, I had load shedding today tomorrow there's going to be load shedding again load shedding is effectively where uh, our power supplier cuts off the power um, due to too much demand and insufficient supply so I'm just gonna have to see how it goes tomorrow and what times I can actually get how much work I can get done in, in the amount of time the idea is to finish it tomorrow then strip this head, I need to clean it and get it ready for engineering. And there's another head I need to strip, so um, this is obviously going to just make the whole process a lot easier. So yeah, we'll carry on tomorrow. Alright, it is the next day here, welcome back. Uh, this is pretty much where we left off. It is ice cold, we're going to carry on and push through and try and get this magafta finished. So this morning what we're going to do is I'm going to get this puppy fastened to this tube and then we're going to weld the pivot points onto this table. Um, we'll have to do a couple of trial runs to make sure it's working and then we will get it painted. But just to give you an idea of the design philosophy I used, I was aiming to use a lot of old material that I had as well as any old bolts and anything else I could use. So what I've come up with, so I basically welded this flat bar to each other like this. I then welded a bush that I had into, I drilled a hole into this rectangle tube right through. As you saw, welded the bush in um, and then I'm just going to send a bolt through and that'll form the pivot point. So this piece of flat bar is essentially going to be welded to this table on the back end over there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gudgeon pin and I am going to fix it to this um, rectangle tube. I'm going to modify the end of this, uh, this plug socket so that it can basically fit inside this tube like that and then it has a pivot point like this. Also need to modify the bottom section so that you can actually get uh, pliers or magnet in there to remove or insert the cotters and the, the retainer once the spring is compressed. So it's a little bit of work to do, let's get busy.
So there she is. Let's give it a test run. Well, there you have it guys it is done it's working i'm really happy with the result it works well it's semi efficient um, i'm not a pro fabricator or anything i'm using what i have at my disposal um, and like uh, we just used a bunch of scrap steel and everything else i could find lying around so i don't want to go spend a bunch of money on a tool or making a tool this is something that i'm not always going to use but i'm going to use it here and there and I don't want to have to struggle, especially if I'm put for time. So, um, thank you. This, that's going to be a wrap for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure your post notifications are on so you get alerted whenever there's new videos or new content uh, coming up. And um, stay tuned. We'll do some more. Thanks for watching. Ciao.